Hey everyone, welcome back to Coaching Changes Lives. One of my top tips for going from good to great coaching, in fact, this is my next set of elements, is this. How do we ameliorate pain within? Right? How do you help the client to ameliorate the pain within? One of the best hidden secrets of coaching is this, the ability to ameliorate the pain within. What do we mean by that? To ameliorate the pain means this, to help the client to feel better. Very much like taking medicine, right? We are, we are feeling a little pain on the inside of us, but when we want to ameliorate the pain, we want to ease that sense of badness or the sense of uh, deep, you know, uncomfortableness or uneasiness within. We, in order to ameliorate that, we need to take the medicine. Coaching, it's a powerful ameliorating effect for the soul, for the heart, for the mind, for the brain, for the consciousness. You find one of the interesting elements of why the secret of coaching or one of the powers of coaching is in the ameliorating effect. It's because to it's not about helping you know people go from um, negative to positive all the time. No, sometimes when a client gets stuck in the rut, it's just to help them get out of the rut. That's it. It's not about trying to get from someone who's low and let them jump. It's not making a sad person begin, be, uh, beginning to laugh uncontrollably. No, many people have this idea that coaching is about making people feel happy all the time. Coaching, it's not a happy club. Coaching, it's about helping the person to find congruence and coherence in what they believe in and what they're doing. Ameliorating effects of coaching result in the client being able to have more confident self-control taking more ownership about their own lives, their own journey, and their own careers, and their own walk. You see, as coaches, one of the things that we do in the process is not to just tell the clients and not to point out what's wrong with them, but to help them to realize what's right. To help them to realize that they have the resources available to them. It's help them to realize we want to move away from the sense of a lack of resources, but to look at the limitation of resources and being resourceful. The best creative ideas, the best innovative ideas come from a sense of lack. You find that when people have abundance of things, innovation stifles. But when you have the right balance, when you have limits, when you have lack of resources, you often find creativity explodes. I've seen videos in time and time again, you know, where how you know, people who have, don't have that you know, fanciful equipment to do fishing, they were able to use plastic bottles to hunt for fishes. They were able to use very simple, creative ways to make life better. As a coach, one of the best secrets is this, to realize this, we are not trying to you know, transform. Um, uh, coaching is not just for the good. Coaching is not about helping good people become better. Coaching is not about helping bad people become better. No, coaching is about helping an individual who realizes that, hey, you know what? I don't want to stay the same way as I am. I don't want to stay in this place. I want to get out of this rut. It's time for me to ameliorate from my position of where I don't want to be to where I want to be. As a coach, one of the best secrets is this. It's that we are entering the conversation, helping the client to get from where they are to where they want to be. Helping them to figure out what is the gap in between. Helping them to figure out what is the barriers in between. Helping them to realize that, hey, you know what? Doesn't matter the gap. Right? Because I think that that's the gap. But you, you know what? I'm helping you to realize the potential within I'm helping you to realize that the barriers that's in front of you, we thought that those are barriers, we thought that those are fog, we thought, we thought that those are things that's holding you back. But what we don't realize, those are opportunities for us to grow better. When we ameliorate the client, we're helping them to go from strength to strength to strength. Helping them to grow a greater sense of confidence and helping them to realize, hey, you know what? You have grown. Sometimes we don't realize the strength that we have on the inside because we don't look back and recount what has, what has transformed. We don't look back and recount the learnings, the insights, the development have been through. Life brings us many different challenges, but we can do one or two things. One is we can get defeated by the challenges, or two, we can use those challenges to our greatest advantage. As a coach, we can do one or two things. We can focus on the problem all the time, or we can help the client to see performance states, help them build new performance level. The idea of sense of the greatness or, or the secrets of becoming a great coach lies in our ability to see beyond, to see the impossible, to call out the, the plausible, to help the client to realize that, hey, you know what? There's greatness within, to help them realize the potentiality within. The beauty of coaching, it's not just telling people that you can do it, you can do it. No, it's about helping the person find conviction in what they believe in, congruence and coherence in what they want to do, and through that whole process, that they find ownership, sustained uh, responsibility in their own actions. That's the beauty of coaching. And that is our secret for the greater, uh, to become a greatest coach. Remember, 
greatness is not what we do, but greatness is who we are and what we be. There's a seed of greatness in every person. That's the belief of a coach. I believe in my client. I believe the best for them. I believe that they have the potentiality within. If you like what you hear, give us a thumbs up. Share me your thoughts in the comment section below. And this is Jada here at Coaching Changes Lives. I will see you in one of our programs really soon.